Here's an example that looks a lot more complicated. There are a lot of terms on each side of the equal sign. This looks very complicated, but it's not. Don't be intimidated when you see a big equation like this. Just take a look at it, see what you're looking at, and see what starts to make sense when you look at what you're given. And on here, on this example, you can see that on the left side, I have 6x and a minus 2x. Those are like terms. And I have a 3 and a 4. Those are like terms. So this left side can be simplified. The same thing happens on the right. I have a 6 and a 5. Those are like terms. Those can be simplified. The 6 and the 5 can be combined, so the right side can be simplified. As a general rule, it's a good idea to simplify the expression on each side of the equal sign before trying to solve. So we'll do that as our first step here. 6x and minus 2x combine to give me a 4x. And the 3 and the 4 combine to give me a 7. So the left side is 4x plus 7. On the right side, I have my 3x. And the 6 and the 5 combine to make 11. So I have 4x plus 7 equals 3x plus 11. Now I'll subtract 3x from each side. That will get rid of the 3x on the right, making me have all the x's on the left. And that's what I want. I want all the x's on one side. So now on the left, look at the 4x and the minus 3x. Those combine to give me a 1x, which I just write as x. So I have x plus 7, and on the right, I have 11. Now I'm almost done. You can probably see the next step. If I subtract 7 from each side, on the left side, the plus 7 and the minus 7 cancel out, leaving me with x now isolated, and the right side is 11 minus 7, which is 4. So the equation is solved, x equals 4. What this means is that this original equation that I started with is a true statement if x is equal to 4. If I put in an x, uh, put in a 4 right there, and right there, and right there, then this equation is true. What I have found is that 4 satisfies this equation. That means 6 times 4 plus 3 minus 2 times 4 plus 4 is equal to 6 plus 3 times 4 plus 5. And 4 is the only number that works. 4 is the only number I could plug in for x in that equation and have it result in a true mathematical statement. 4 is the solution to this equation. And now you can hopefully see why this technique is useful. The fact that 4 is the solution to this equation is not something I could tell by looking at this equation at just a glance. When I look at this equation, there are too many pieces to, to assimilate in my mind all at once. I can't look at that and just tell at a glance that x would have to be 4 in order for this to work. Manipulating it like this, though, by adding and subtracting the same thing to each side allows me to work through it a step at a time. And notice that each step I go in this process results in an equation that's a little bit simpler until I'm finally down to this, where the equation is solved.